this video, I'm going to show you a preview of something we're working on at Ajar Productions. This is something that came out of a conversation with Mira Rubin at PepCon, which is a fantastic conference that we just came back from. So I put together a little demo and showed it off at the Creative Wow session at PepCon. Now I'm recording this video so you can see it as well. So here I have an HTML page. I'm just going to reload the page to show the animation. And so there's a fade in. And if I click on this circle, there's also a 3D animation with a color change. And then a circle is made with CSS3 rounded corners. The idea here is that I want to take some kind of interactivity, which is in HTML, which tons of things can export. And I want to be able to put this into InDesign so that I can export it using one of the native InDesign export formats like EPUB. So let's switch over to InDesign and I'll show you why that's a little bit of an issue. So normally what I do if I want to have this content for DPS or for In5, I can use a folio overlay. And the way I'd create that is to select the rectangular frame tool. I draw out a frame the size I want and I go to the folio overlays panel and choose web content. And then I would select the file. And here I'll grab my HTML file. And now if I were to preview this in the Adobe Content Viewer, it would be working. If I export it to DPS, it'll be working. If I export it using In5, it'll be working. But the Folio Overlays panel is actually made by the DPS team and not the InDesign team. And it's not supported by InDesign's native export formats. So instead of previewing this with the Adobe Content Viewer, I want to see if it'll work in an EPUB. And I'm going to use the EPUB Interactivity panel. Now, when I click Play Preview, it refreshes the page, and there's nothing there. It's just blank white. And as I mentioned, that's because the Folio Overlays panel is actually managed by the DPS team and not supported by InDesign. So let's go ahead and fix that with this tool that I'm building. I'm going to delete this frame, and I'm going to go up to File. And for now, I've just called it Import Local HTML. So again, I'm going to choose this HTML file, and it'll load up a place gun. So I can click on my page and place it. And you can see that InDesign has loaded a preview for me. It's not a fantastic preview. It doesn't have the rounded corners, so it looks like a square, but it's a preview nonetheless. So what happens if I actually go into the EPUB interactivity panel and take a look at this? So I click play. There's my opening animation, but is it interactive? I'll click on it. Yep, there is the 3D rotating circle and the color change. So the preview works great. Let's see if it exports. Go up to File, and I'm just going to choose the default export. And I'll go ahead and use the EPUB fix layout, but this will also work in a reflowable layout. So I'm just going to click OK with the, all the default settings, and this will open up the book in iBooks. And there's the opening animation. And if I click on it, there's the interactivity. So I was able to import interactivity from basically anywhere. This is just some custom HTML that I wrote. And it now will get packaged with my EPUB. We've done some testing. And if the EPUB is valid and you add this and it's valid HTML code, the EPUB will still validate. So it'll work in your final EPUB. So now where would you get HTML that you would put into InDesign? Well, you can get it from all kinds of places. Almost every interactive tool now will export some form of HTML. You can use Adobe Muse, Tumult Hype, even Adobe Flash exports HTML. If you want to use Folio overlays in InDesign, you can export them using In5 and load the content back in. You can use Adobe Captivate to create quizzes and presentations. Or you can create your own custom HTML Maybe you watched a Chris Converse course on lint.com and you want to take that little project and put it inside your InDesign document, export to EPUB, you'll be able to do that with this. So I'm just getting started with this project, but if you want to get regular updates about it, you can sign up for our newsletter to learn more and find out when it's released. Thanks for watching.